Welcome back to Firewatch. So, this is the beginning of day two, and when we came back to this place near the end of day one, it had been broken into. Hence the uh, hole in the window. And when we woke up on day two, it turns out that the phone lines out of this place, that Delilah can use to communicate, are not working. Which is kind of disturbing. Putting two and two together, it's not really too much of a stretch to say the person that vandalized this place perhaps is cutting off our lines of communication and could be doing who knows what else. So pretty friggin' disturbing. Anyway, our mission is to survey the communication lines up here. So we need to go back to this cave and then head up north. And these telephone lines go through this, like, canyon place. We need to check them out and see if there's something wrong with them. But uh, before we head out, let's take a look around this place. Maybe clean up a bit in the process, too, after this place has been ransacked. Truck, Alaska. May 1989. Flora of the Shoshone Poster. Hope that's pronounced Shoshone. <laughs> so that's cool, you could actually identify a bunch of the plants and trees around here if you wanted to. Like... Like, I don't know. Let's identify those. Mmm... Mmm... I think that's a lodgepole pine. Yeah, it looks like it. So cool how much detail there is here. Glory. What did that say? Over six million Michelle McManus book in print. Book? It's a lot of books for so many misprints. Singular mind. Dr. Jonas Allard. Don't mind your mind alone. Have you considered the untapped power of your own mind? you often ponder the unexplainable? Do you find yourself seeing that which is not there? Do you yearn to explore the labyrinth of your own psyche? Where do these belong, actually? Like... There? Oh. <laughs> Just a goofy little smiley face. How this thing works exactly. Rags. Bolts. Is that like a piece of a jaw? Animal jaw, I think. I hope. Death strikes it too. Oh, I can <laughs> I can move that book pretty fast. Experience Richard Sturgeon's explosive follow-up to One Chance to Die. Twelve bodies, zero leads, one man for the job. The Patriots. That is such a cheesy cover. Something about Russia. The Birds of Wyoming. Alright, this place feels better now. Oh, <laughs> there's the confiscated fireworks. Magic missile. Look at that happy little wizard. I'd be happy too if I had a rocket for a hat. Oh, we have a fire extinguisher. Good. That feels appropriate. Hmm. Suspicious. No! Oh, I can't seem to put it back. Alright. That works. Uh... It's got a mind of its own. Whoa. Escape from two orcs. 
Doom Canyon, Lake of Acid, Blood River. That Lake of Acid looks like the uh, lake we just went to. Forgot the name of it, but yeah, it looks like someone made like a Dungeons and Dragons map, sort of based on the area here. Huh. Oh, and over, ah, can't point to it, but just to the top right of Lake of Acid, you see that little like box with an X, which according to the legend down there is a treasure chest. I think they they marked the uh, the supply boxes as treasure chests. I wonder if there's any ones on this map that perhaps aren't on the normal map. I wish I could, like, take this with me, but I don't think I can. No. Um. I can't seem to put it back. Yeah, okay. That's good enough. Manly Thermos. <laughs> I can't put this back either. Oh, this is terrible. I'm trying to clean up the place and it's just like trying to make me make a bigger mess. Oh, I guess that goes there. Alright. Old Scottish oil soap. Glass cleaner. Pencil sharpener. Supplies for two forks. Supplies for two forks. Can't read that. Whatever that is. Space puffs. Some beans. Some more beans. Tuna or something. Yeah, just basically a bunch of camping stuff. Oh, there's a medical kit there too. Good to know. I'm a little bit disturbed by the fact that that plastic bleach bottle is on top of the stove. I feel like that really should be somewhere else. I'm just gonna like throw it in the corner. Also, that pine cone. Ugh. Get that out of there. Talk about flammable. Photo with Julia. that I saw it for a second. There we go. Greetings from Wyoming. Wild and free. I want to read that. I think that's a new one. It's so small, though. Uh, I'll try. May 2nd, 1989. Sleep is going to be a real problem. Without making this a list of all that's happening all of the time, for Henry from the future, this was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Going to have to figure that out today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any uh, Jules dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and everything, but sure enough... During the 30 minutes I fell asleep around 5 a.m., there we were back on the beach in Melbourne. There's that moment where I know it's coming, where I know the water is going to come up and up and up, and I think I'm going to spew or my heart is going to stop or something. But this time I woke up before anything happened. Maybe that's progress. I had my fingers crossed that I would... <coughs> Excuse me. I had my fingers crossed that I would just be dreaming about squirrels and mountains and trees and shit, but what are you going to do? Hate rolled the hard way. Neil Black has just exposed the largest underground gambling racket in the nation's history. I love that you can just clean up your place. Feels good. Oh, how'd you get all the way over there, little buddy? Where's your home? You seem to have no home. Hmm. I 
It's finding its own home. I think it's time to head out, unless there's something up here. Just foods and cans and stuff. Is that more beans? Oh, but they're green beans. A lot of beans. <laughs> That's a really close picture of a squirrel. How do they get so close? Or they had like a telephoto lens or something. Alright, let's head out. So day two is going to be a day of exploring. I'm not just going to stick to the trail like I did before. Just taking this view for a moment. Shouldn't have to worry too much about it getting dark, because we actually woke up at a reasonable time instead of like 6 p.m. Although I still have my flashlight, if I need it. Okay. So I guess I should go back the way that I got to hear from, right? Where I knocked down that sign? Right about that area? Yeah, okay. So that's behind the outhouse. This way. I feel like I should turn the generator off when I'm away, but... I guess I probably can't. Alright, I'll put you back, buddy. Well, good enough. Huh. It moved. So this is where we have two pathways. I don't need to look at the map for that, actually. So this was the switchback, the way that I didn't take up. Cold morning fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Let's just hold on for a second. That was very interesting. So I'm going to choose not to mention that I heard that. Obviously they were talking with somebody else. But, wait. They were talking with somebody else and accidentally left it on so that I could hear, but I have two questions about that. One, let's just take it at face value. What are they talking about? It sounds almost like they know, like Delilah knows something. Like, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, would you... So it sounds like they know something perhaps about like maybe somebody who might be out here, somebody who like maybe Delilah has an idea who did that to the lookout last night. So that's unnerving. But the other thing is I thought they couldn't talk to anybody. Delilah said that the phone wasn't working and even the radios weren't working. So who the hell could they possibly be talking to? Strange. Like Damn I might have lost you. You could be down in one of those valleys. Call me if you need anything. I missed the dimer.
Just wanted to see if we can get through there. Yeah, so foggy. Shall we try again? It was worth a try. I wonder if we could find that key. Wouldn't that be cool? I can't wait to explore this map. Okay, so we already checked out that box. We came from that direction. So... This is the way to go, to look at the phone lines. Yes. Okay. Butterflies! Pretty. I want to make sure I don't sprint all the time. Don't want to miss some stuff. Couple ways to go down into the valley. Ah, rope over there too. I love the way all those rocks look. So gorgeous. It's nice to go for a walk in the woods in the morning. What was that sound? It's like a thunk thunk. it again. Whoops. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Well, you were obviously speaking with somebody, Delilah. Looking good. Looks good over here. Heading to Beartooth Point. Oh, there's another lookout this way? Is this Delilah's lookout? Thoroughfare? Is that uh, marked on the map? Nope. It's off the map. Okay. Oh, there's a cache up here, too. 302. Whew, this thing is old. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Somebody left something here. Uh, 
I'll read it this way. <laughs> Ol Shoshone, Winthrop, Winthrop Carter, Hawks Rest. Oh, it's a song, isn't it? A refrain. Headed off to Ol Shoshone where the birds and the bees won't know me. Where men in the war don't exist no more and there ain't no gals to keep no score. Huh. I wonder when this was written. Does it have a date on it? No. Neat. Let's see if there's any other pathways. Oh, where does this lead? Where does this lead? Hmm. It's like a little grove or something here. Let's check it out. Hey, there's a building over here. And... Supply box? Old cabin. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. That's odd. A44. This looks different than the others, doesn't it? Like, aren't the others all, like, orange? This one's white. Well, they said they're all... 0451. Isn't that, like, the... the old, typical password? Using, like, system shock and stuff, and it's, like, a cliche at this point? 451 or something like that? Anyway, let's see if it's... 1, 2, 3, 4... Wouldn't be surprised if it's not. No, it is. Korea better. Wait, wait, I can put that on. <laughs> Feels kind of wrong to wear it. Out. Firefinder. Cigarette boxes. Well, those were obviously put there after the fire, otherwise it would have burned up. a fire but like how did the fire start and who was here another flora poster like pretty much the standard issue stuff like what's in my place <laughs> more cigarettes got one string. <laughs> oh, don't just throw it. Come on. Wish I could play it. The one string. See if the old thing can croak out a note or two. So no notes, huh? I mean, I guess any notes would probably burn up unless they were placed here after the fire like the cigarettes.
It's kind of ironic that a fire watchtower <laughs> burned down. This game is really cool. It's so fascinating to explore out here. Is there a pathway over there? Oh, it looks like it splits off. There's two sides to go. Hmm. Oh, that's Hawk's Rest. Let's try this way. It's hard to tell where the trail is. I don't know if this is a trail or just a place. Oh. I guess it is a trail. Oh. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Hmm. So, I think there's... Yeah, so I guess it's like sort of semi-open world, but your progress to some areas is blocked by ropes and tools. Ropes allow you to get down some certain places and tools allow you to clear stuff like this. Um, does it get marked on the map by any chance? I see something marked on the map there, but I'm not sure what that is. Let's move back and see if it's marked, because if it isn't, then I might want to keep track of these areas. Uh, it looks like a little, like, tangle of bushes, so I think it is marked. I'll check when I'm a bit further away. Mm hmm. Seems awfully loose there, but doesn't seem disconnected. Oh. Oh. That's just blowing in the wind over there. Yep broken. Yeah, okay, so it's definitely marked on the map. Cool. Really open place. Oh, I see the supply box over there. Three oh two. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Oh, you can actually press the numbers directly on the keyboard. Ooh, this one's full of, like, collectible stuff. Bunch of pine cones and wood, plants, and paper towels, I think. What is that rustling? Is that... I thought it was me, like, walking through stuff, but... Could be the wind. Hmm. Or it could be somebody watching me. Back in 86, 
Dave? Hey you, got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know? Amigos professionalis. <laughs> if you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. So the other note we saw was a reply to this saying that Amigos is Spanish and professionals is, is, what was it? Italian? French? I don't remember. That is such a weird phrase, Amigos Professionals. <laughs> so they were leaving notes instead of just talking with each other on radios. Did they... I mean, did they not have radios at the time? Obviously radios existed back in 1986. So I don't really get why they're leaving notes. Huh. All right, what do we got here? Beartooth Point. This is pretty eroded. Recommend leaving through Mule Point. Mule point and two force lookout. Alright, so what did that add? Just the trail, I think? Yeah. Also, whoop. Also added supply drop? No, I think that was already on there because it's not on the other map. What is supply drop? Like, do they actually drop supplies in for the lookouts there? I wondered how they got supplies in. I mean, obviously these people, like, I don't know how long they're stationed here, but surely the, uh, the big thing of water that Henry brought is not going to be enough for more than a couple days. Like, at most. I think down here is just a big circle. Yeah, not much. So let's try to head up there. That rustling. I'm pretty sure it's just wind or animals. Oh, these flowers are so pretty. You know, I saw in the uh, controls here, there's a key for a camera. I want to take pictures. Where is it? Uh, camera, C. C or 3, but I think I tried to press it. Yeah, I don't actually have a camera yet. I hope I get it soon, because I'd love to take pictures. Take pictures of beer cans. Uh, anyway, you can take pictures of these plants and then take them back to the identification thing and identify them. Be fun. By the way, why did Delilah seem to ignore me when I mentioned the cabin and hasn't mentioned it yet? How come I haven't mentioned it again? It's odd. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. <laughs> Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. I seriously doubt those... Those two skinny dipping people are the ones that cut our communication lines. Not a secret. Just a tree. I mean, it is the same brand as those as those kids had.
Wait, what did I say? Clean up? Oh, I can clean them up. That's good to know. There's another one down there. And another one. It's like a breadcrumb trail of beer cans. Go to hell. And that looks like a pair of panties? Was it really them? Seriously? Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. I guess that is pretty much a literal breadcrumb of beer cans. Yeah, so I get the feeling, just based on how Delilah reacted, saying that's exactly how people die. You know, what if something happened to one of my lookouts and Delilah couldn't call out? I wonder if that's why they didn't say anything about that burned lookout over there. I wonder if maybe that happened on Delilah's watch and one of the lookouts died and Delilah feels responsible, perhaps? I wonder. Oh, hey. Look at that. Makes sense that you'd see lookouts on the skyline, huh? Any others? Ah, oh, thoroughfare lookout. Delilah's tower. Do you see anything from yours? Like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? Ha <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just... I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your... our... mind... minds... collective. But no, no clues. I... I can't see anything from here. So that would have to be ours, correct? Let's see, what direction is that? Uh, pretty much perfectly south. Which, if we're here, perfectly south, would be our tower. Mm-hmm. Cool. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to try to find the people that cut this telephone line.